Y'all want to see something funny? So a few weeks ago, I planted these seeds, and look, I labeled them balloon milkweed. Mm -hmm. But these are not <laughs> balloon milkweed. Not even close. So I had this little, you know, the little solo cup thing, condiment cup of seeds that look like balloon milkweed seeds, and I didn't label them. Label your seeds but they looked exactly like balloon milkweed seeds. So I was sure that was them, but it's not. So what I think this is, is um, I think these are little senna's, either Bahama or Privet, because that's kind of what they look like. I don't know, we'll just let them keep growing, see what they are. There's something that I collected seeds from last year, but they're not balloon milkweed. <laughs> well, look, I'm taking a final walk through my garden before I go and look what I found. Look at all the giant eggs. So now I got to go in and get my trimmers and take this little, little stem in. Look at them all. Oh my gosh, there's more here. Look. <gasps> okay. Good morning, everyone. It's Thursday morning. I can't believe it's Thursday already. We had the best rain last night, like thunder, lightning, wind blowing, downpour, like torrential downpour, a long lasting downpour. We haven't had anything like that. So long, my garden is gonna be so happy. It's so lush and green out this morning and um, like you can just hear the water droplets is dripping off of everything. Oh, after work today is going to be fabulous out here. I love it, but I'm just going to go do a quick walk through and just notice what I notice and just enjoy my bare feet on the dirt and preparing for my day with my students who are quite fabulous, I must say. So there's really nobody out yet, no butterflies. There's a few little small moths that are skittering about as I walk through. But the monarchs and the butterflies don't usually come out till later. So sometimes I'll see a hummingbird moth. My red pentas are looking fabulous. Look, here's a zinnia right here. Pretty yellow one. And then there's a red one right there. I love putting the zinnias in with the pentas because the zinnias get kind of like their stems are like all kind of wound around. Like look at the stem is like kind of going back and down and their leaves get grungy. But when they're like coming up right in the middle of a penta, you don't see the leaves and the wacky stem. You just see the flower that is poking through. And here's my little walk through. Got some zinnias coming up in the little pots in there. My wild vine. There's milkweed that I cut back, growing back nicely. There's two more. See this, that little light pink um, penta? And there's one over there. I'm gonna move this out because they're in here and you only see them if you come in here because everything else is tall around them. So I'm gonna move them out and more up into the front area up here. Look how happy my red salvias are. They're just all blooming away. And then here's my little walkway. My little milkweed patch I put in right there. <laughs> it's coming. It's a little scrappy looking, but it's coming. What's interesting is that the blue mist flower, which is a great nectar plant, it's very happy here. Um, and it comes up like 
a lot of different places in my garden so I might dig some up and move some more into the empty spaces in here and then they can fill in and grow low while the milkweed can grow up around it. And look at the zinnias I potted just last weekend. Look at them all coming up. And in the in the salad pots too. They're coming up and I'll tell you what, they look sturdier out here than they do when they come up under the grow lights. And then there's more pentas that'll be coming your way. You'll be able to buy from the nectary. My milkweed planter is looking good. All the milkweeds seem happy in there. Oh, let me show you this guy. Look at this um, tithonia. It's coming out right here in front of the bald cypress tree right by where we sit and I'm leaving it but I cut the top off and I'm gonna try and get it to branch out a little bit and to see what it'll do instead of letting it come straight up it's like my experimental one since it decided to come up there <laughs> right where I see it all the time the intention is to try and keep it from getting all leggy and having those brown leaves underneath because it's right out here in the open. It doesn't have anything else around it to camouflage it when it starts looking that way. The pentas that I transplanted, they're still telling me we need more water, but they'll be okay. They're working on their roots right now. See that one's not looking too happy, but it'll pop up. Once it's done establishing its roots, it'll be fine. And my bee balm kept falling over still. <laughs> so now I tied a piece of twine around it and I staked the twine. And so the twine holds a whole bunch together and the stake keeps it all upright. So it looks really tall instead of laying down on top of everything around it in the garden. So I kind of like it. It needs like a little, uh, sprucing up because you can see they're all bent because they were laying down and bending upward toward the sun so I think once they get some more days of sunshine they'll straighten up because they always grow toward the sun. My Mexican sunflowers or tithonia are looking good. I was out yesterday deadheading them and I need to pull some weeds down in here and I'm gonna get some more seeds going and try and get the tithonia to spread up this way a little bit more. So I can lure some butterflies up outside of my garden room. Oh, and let's go look. Look at my little seedlings. They're mushed because of the rain. They'll pop up again. And then up here, look at these guys coming in. So yay, more zinnias. More zinnias coming. And I think time has to be up for my little garden walkthrough because I gotta go get ready for work. So I'll see y'all later. Today I come home and I get to edit and upload. Um, a video for y'all and uh, I'll see you then. Good morning everyone. It's Friday and I'm just out giving some fresh paper towels in my um, caterpillar enclosure. My giants, you know, they're a little messy and um, looks like one of them's in a chrysalis and one of them's gone off to J-Hang and I have all those eggs I brought in and I'm gonna check them in a minute, see if they're hatching. So, it's Friday already. I feel like it was just Friday and it's Friday again. I wish like we could just slow. Y'all slow down the weekend, just slow down the weekend. I just wanna enjoy every moment of it. We take Ray tomorrow to the vet for her checkup 
to see how she's doing and I'm looking forward to that because I don't think she's 100% and I just want to find out what, what's going on and, and all the info. So I'm going to go finish up with these guys and then I got to go to work. It's an early release day so kids get to go home early and um, oh, we get to do teacher professional development. And on that note, I'll see you later. Now look how cute this little guy is. I said I'll see you later, but I was just looking in here and I don't know. I just, we just had to have a minute with the giants. Cause they're just, look at this little guy here hanging on the edge. And look, here's a, a chrysalis right there. Okay, I'm going now. I'm going out. Well, let's have one last look because isn't he cute? Okay. Hey y'all, I just got home from work. It's Friday weekend. Woohoo! Um, I just released two Eastern Black Swallowtails, one male, one female. I've got two monarchs still in there, but they're pretty calm. We just had a good thunderstorm, but it's passed by. So anyway, I felt it was good to release the two, but the monarchs are just hang in there like they're, they're, they're in no hurry. And and so there's that. Anyway, I'm just taking a quick stroll through my garden. We're heading up to um, Orlando tonight. We're going to dinner at the Animal Kingdom Lodge. And then tomorrow, gardening day. Hey y'all, I'm at the Animal Kingdom Lodge for just dinner. We ate at Boma. It's like a, um, a buffet and have tons of vegan options it's so good and uh we're just coming out because there's giraffes out here and you know giraffes butterflies they they go together so i thought i would try and find a giraffe and film it well, i haven't found a giraffe yet but this is a kudu <laughs> Guys, remember the egg I showed you that I brought in? Well, it hatched, and here's the baby. This is a spice bush swallowtail caterpillar, and it is on a sassafras tree leaf. One of their host plants. Look how cute. And here's my giants. I'm gonna get them a few fresh cuttings. And my giant eggs that I brought in hatched also. So I've got a lot of tiny, tiny babies. So fabulous. And I got another privet sunna cutting for my little sulfur. Put in the fresh cuttings for the giants. Look how cute this little spice bush guy is sitting out on his leaf. I'm gonna go get another cutting for them too. There's one in there too. See him peeking? Hey 
Michelle, we're on our way to the vet and to get her checkup to follow up and see how she's doing now. So I'll let y'all know. We got some cats with us too. They're getting their vaccines. <laughs> yeah. They're not happy, the cats. <laughs> Hey y'all, good morning. It's Sunday morning. The last time you saw me, I was taking Ray to the vet. And then a whole bunch of things happened and now you're seeing me again this morning. And uh, I'll let you know some of the things that happened, but I just want to give you a little Ray update. She still has her ear infection. Yeah. So that's why her balance is still a little messed up. And I think it's a pretty severe one that was like down lower in the ear. Um, so she's gonna be on antibiotics for quite some time. And we have to go back in two weeks and check and then we'll reassess and maybe more antibiotics. You know, we're just gonna go step by step, but that's something, like that's something, poor little dog. And it makes me wonder how long, like how long has she been hurting? And you know, you just, you don't know, because they're good at hiding stuff. They don't want to look weak. That's a natural animal instinct, did y'all know that? To not look weak, because the weak ones are the ones that get picked off and eaten. So no matter how bad you're suffering, you have to do everything you can to look healthy and strong. So pet owners know that, you probably already do. Cats are even better at it than dogs. Cats will just be like, yeah, I'm fine when they're just miserable, so. Okay, that's enough of that. Anyway, she is definitely feeling better and thank you all for your um, concern about my sweet little dog. I love it. Okay, another thing that happened yesterday is that um, I filmed another short video. This one was more promoting um, my channel. So it's out there, it's up. And um, then y'all's battery died and you decided you had to go charge your battery so you couldn't join me for my little project I was starting out here, which I'll go show you. And then a big line of thunderstorms came through. So I couldn't finish my little project. I started out here and that thunderstorm line lasted like all afternoon. And the lightning was like ridiculous and our power went out for a minute. And, um, so a whole lot of things happened that kept me from gardening and filming on gardening day. And it's really, really cloudy this morning. So I don't know how much time I have. I don't know, but let me go show you what I was working on. I laid some more paver sand in this whole section. And then right over here, there was a, a chair that was broken. So I moved it out. And then this, area was all overgrown with some of this border grass but there was also like oh just things that washed into there like um, pine bark and leaves and it kind of built up this little mound so I raked all that out actually used it as compost so that's fabulous and so then I used to have a bunch of potted parsley like right over in that area so I found my random clay pots and I um, potted all the parsley and I put it right here. So I think that looks pretty. And then this little double pot with the sedum, um, that was getting too much sunlight. Look how unhappy that sedum looks. So hopefully it will get happier being over here where it gets way less sun, but still some sun. So I think that this area is looking good and I would have finished look I didn't even clean up my pots or anything I just had to run in like as soon as the the lightning starts I'm done I'm done I don't play with lightning not here not in Florida so that's all I got to do yesterday but I like it I like it <laughs> 